Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're now going to go ahead with the crown try-in. I did have to adjust the distal aspect of the abutment and it wasn't much but it was enough to allow the crown to slip in and to seat properly and the margins do um, are, are, um, are definitely uh, sealed and, and now what you're seeing is the crown itself, the distal aspect was adjusted slightly and I used a dark pencil for that. So um, occlusion is important. You have a canine in his case that's also in occlusion with the next three implants from number three, four, and five. So number six it's helping with the low, but look at the movement of the crown itself. So we're going to shallow the bite or the occlusion on that tooth and allow it to to have less movement and less contact and, and lateral movement. And I'm having him squeeze down on thick articulating paper in order to accomplish this. So I'm going to take it out, do some fine adjustments in my hand so that I can look at this directly and and make some uh, adjustments. So I'm going to use a fine football diamond. I'm going to use a little bit of water and less speed and a lot of movement. So low RPM, lots of movement. So we don't heat up the ceramic and cause any fractures. And you go in there with the coarse diamond. You're gonna, you're gonna invite micro fractures in the porcelain, and then you'd have problems down the road. So very, very light adjusting here. And I always say we're just dusting your bite, just dusting the occlusion. It's all it is. Okay, back in the mouth. Again, we haven't torqued the abutment down, so I'm going to go as far as I can as far as adjusting the bite, and then after I cement it, I'll check it again. All right. So the abutment has been hand tightened in. Now I'm going to do a little bit more adjusting near the cusp tip and the distal line angle just to to see if we can slow the movement down a little bit more. Bite down and grind. That's it. Still movement. But certainly a lot less. You have to have a lot of patience when you're working with implants. It's a uh, some of the smallest of details can come back, you know, two, three years later, and if they're missed, uh, not saying that anything was missed here, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying you have to, on every case, you have to really pay attention to the smallest of details. And plants don't move, they're uh, embedded into bone, so unlike natural teeth that have ligaments that allow for shock absorption. Now I'm lining up the driver because it's time to torque in the abutment. So this is the time where you get your wrench and, and ratchet together or, or your wrench and your uh, your driver I should say. Um, and we're going to tighten this down to the exact specifications that Biomet 3i has given. Every implant company has a set protocol for those screws that are used and the amount of tightening force. And we're just assembling the, uh, the wrench and the driver. I'm 
believe this is a point oh four eight um driver hex driver and you have to be sure before you start tightening that your your driver is bottomed out into the screw head that doesn't feel like I'm I'm in so I'm going to reposition and it should drop in And sometimes you just have to change the angle a little bit. There's our screw. So by increasing magnification with the microscope, I can actually see the hex itself internally. I'm going to line that up with the driver. Let's see if it drops in this time. Should go right into place. All right. There. Okay. So now I can go ahead and, and tighten. And I'm just lightly holding that with my left forefinger. And now it's getting tighter. And we'll go just to, I believe this one is 20 Newton centimeters. About 20. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Next step is to apply the Teflon. I'm going to cover that in the next video clip. Um, we are going to try the crown back in along with that. Make sure the bite is right and the occlusion is proper. So it's good to have all your protocol lined up. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We are going to see you on the next video clip. Hope you've been enjoying uh, this procedure and I'm here to help. Uh, any questions, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, have an enjoyable day, and we'll see you on the next video. Take good care.